Congratulations on your purchase of the fourth generation AquaWiz KH Director. This tutorial by Collectors Corals explains how to set up and calibrate the AquaWiz KHA. Inside the box, you will find the instruction manual. Behind the unit, the following outlets are present. Tank water in and out. Power port. KH to PH port, used for connecting to aquarium controller like Apex, Hydros, etc. PH in port for connecting the AquaWiz PH probe. Dosing in and out port for dosing KH solution. Air inlet used by AquaWiz air pump. Left and right navigation buttons. Enter button. Let's open the box and look at what's inside. Power adapter. pH probe. Water line to go into the tank. Filter for the water line. Let's get the machine hooked up. Let's connect the water line. Drop the other end in the tank. Now let's install to pH probe. Insert the pH probe gently into the left test tube. Make sure the tip of the probe doesn't hit the air stone and get damaged. The air stone and pH probe tip should be all the way to the bottom of the test tube. Connect pH probe to pH in port. Make sure the wire hangs freely and is not forcefully bent by pressing against the wall. The port is very sensitive and might get damaged if not handled carefully. Now let's connect the power adapter. Power up the machine by connecting the adapter to power supply. AquaWiz Startup will now test all the dosing pumps to make sure all of them are in good working condition. Let's connect AquaWiz to Wi-Fi. Use this information to connect your phone to AquaWiz. It takes about a minute for the setup page to show up. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password and set the offset from GMT for your time zone. Then click Connect. The machine will say Wi-Fi connection succeeded and will display the Wi-Fi ID and password you entered. It will also display the time zone you entered. Machine will now go through the 12-step testing process. Life of pH probe should say 100%. If pH probe life shows up as 0%, take the pH probe out and make sure it's not damaged. Clean the connecting tip of the pH probe and the connector on the machine with a clean cloth and reconnect. Restart the machine and verify that the display shows 100% life. Now let's wait for the machine to reach step A6. It's time to level the test tubes. Use a flashlight if you are unable to see the tubes clearly. As you can see, the water in the tubes are not on the line.
Navigate to the pump menu and click Enter. Click the up and down buttons, the first two buttons from the left to bring the water to the line on the left test tube. Click Enter. Click the up and down buttons to bring the water to the line on the right test tube. Click Enter. Click No to all the prompts until you reach the main menu. After a minute, the machine will continue to go through steps A6 to A12. If the air stones don't have enough air coming out, adjust these knobs to increase the airflow. Make sure both tubes have approximately the same amount of bubbles. Now KHA will continue to finish the test. Wait till we reach step A12. KHA has completed your first KH test. We have noticed that the reading generally matches the KH measurements from an ICP test. Let the KHA run for 24 to 48 hours and then we can calibrate the KH using your favorite alkalinity tester. KHA has finished one round of testing. It will run the next test based on your preferred setting. You will see how to create your account with AquaWiz and set up your preferences for testing interval in a few minutes. On your browser, go to aquawiz.net for setting up your account. Click the Sign Up button. Please enter your username, password, serial number, and activation code that can be found at the back of the machine. Activation code is case sensitive, so make sure it's entered correctly. Also enter the email address for you to receive notifications. You will receive notifications when your KH drifts above or below the target range, when your dosing solution is running low, and if error is detected in any of the machine's parts. Now let's sign in to your newly created account. You can also download the iPhone or Android app by clicking one of these buttons. Click on the top right menu and click on your account if you want to add a second device to your account. Enter the details for the machine on this screen. It takes about one to two hours for a new machine to get set up on the server and display the initial KH data. On the main menu, click Sync to make sure the machine is talking to the server and not returning any errors. Now let's see how to set up email notification when the alkalinity goes out of the target range. On this screen, you can set the target alkalinity. For when to notify, we have entered 0.1, so it will send you an email if the KH goes below 7.9 and above 8.1 as an example. Here you can also set the measurement interval. Also, if you want notifications to be turned off during certain hours of the day, it can be entered here. If you are not using AquaWiz for dosing, please make sure you disable the dosing head by clicking the gear icon highlighted. Zero out the fields as above and click Apply. After a day or two, test the alkalinity of your system's water using your preferred test kit. Click on the gear icon above and enter the test value. Email notifications will come to you similar to the below message. Make sure the mail is not going into your spam folder. 
AquaWiz KH Director Setup is now complete. We will be creating another video on how to set up the dosing head. Please make sure you follow us on Instagram, at CollectorSquirrels, or follow our YouTube channel at at CollectorSquirrels3070. Thank you.